So we are back at the cafe today. I am so excited to finally get to update you guys on what's been going on because it has been pure craziness here. And it all started with what was supposed to be the permanent install of the front door. Oh my goodness. The front door is all installed. It looks so much better having that taken care of. Today, Josh is going to continue working on the electrical inside the cafe, and I'm gonna start staining some boards for the trim that's going to go around the interior of the front door. All the brick is done on the interior, and we're really narrowing in on the last few things to get done in here, so it's kind of crunch time, and these little things like the stained trim are going to help pull everything together. So we're going with Early American. It's the same color that we have on the windows on the interior. It's gonna be the final little bit that finishes this place off. So the hood's installed, it's done, it's ready for inspection. I'm piping everything in, if you guys can see. Everything's all getting piped in. I'm missing a trough up there. I'm waiting for that trough, I'll put that in. But I'm also back here, piping in. For an exit sign behind me, we're just piping this entire area in. We have a lot of exposed pipe because it's all block work and brick, it's all existing, so we're service mounting everything. Everything's coming together, it's looking good. All of the boards outside are finished being stained and they're just waiting to dry for a little bit. So I'm gonna pop inside and I'm going to stain this piece of trim that Josh jumped the install on. Remember, always paint and stain prior to install, Josh. If you're a qualified person, you can do it while the install. I've seen that qualified. I've seen so-called qualified people try to do it after install and it doesn't look like a quality product. <laughs> Once I'm finished getting all of this stained, I'm gonna head back outside and I'm gonna put a coat of poly on everything that's out there. You're not really going to see the poly once it's done drying because it's a satin finish, but it's super important to have that poly on there because it'll allow us to wipe clean any dust that collects really easily. Boxes for FedEx. FedEx is here, huh? Yeah. Here's 15 the, boxes? 15. It's all gonna start rolling in, too. So oh no. <laughs> Ready or not? Oh. Waffle maker, panini press. Salad spinner, KitchenAid mixer, sheet pans. You know what I think? What? Uh, we're not done yet. You got everything coming in. <laughs> That's what I think. But we're this close. That close. Like literally, you have a little bit of electrical to tie in. Yeah. We have some trim that needs to go up. I need to paint the floors, paint, paint the bar, the install the countertops, and then bam, we can start putting everything in place. And we are opening a cafe. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen such a, oh my goodness. Are we getting that inside? I don't know, it looks like it's multiple boxes, hopefully. This is a meat slicer up there. The first big appliance is here. I think that it is the bakery display case. We don't have a pallet jack. I don't think it has wheels. And I'm not even sure it's gonna fit through this door. We might have that issue. Um, ugh. It doesn't, because that's 37 inches. The door swing itself is 36, but it doesn't fit. Oh but my gosh. Look at this, 86.7 by 37. That's with the box, so we gotta take it out of the box. So it's and it hopefully has wheels. Is it gonna fit without the box? I mean, the box says 86.7 by 37 by 50.4. That means nothing to me. 30, does it fit through the door or does it not the fit through the door? The door's 37, I'm sorry, the door's 36, the box is 37, so. The way it's like that, I mean, I hope that's not inside dimensions. Is that inside dimensions? We're f That means we got to pull the entire door frame out. We think I didn't finish it per completely. We got to pull the entire door frame out. I think I didn't paint out. it. Yeah, so we'll see. Fun. Start a rush on this end. <laughs> a lot of fun. It'd be a blast. 
<laughs> you having fun yet? <laughs> Dan, hold cock, can't push. Now we get to start frame out or just the door? No, the frame's fine. Oh, thank God. You didn't I get it? No, <laughs> I didn't know. That's no big deal. I didn't say it was a big deal. I thought you meant like the whole door needed to come That's out. That's if it was the entire thing was 37 inches. It needed to come out. Okay, you can push it in there. So we thought we were in the clear and that we weren't going to have to take out the door when we saw all of those arrive back there. But then all of those arrived. All of those. Oh, and that's not even close to the amount of stuff we have. There's an entire like parking lot full of kitchen equipment on the other side of the stuff that's covered up with the tarp. And yes, the door has got to come out. The whole door, the whole frame and everything. <laughs> What? I'm gonna hit her with a hammer. <laughs> you might go like this. Catch it. Catch it? Why'd you say we have to make a new door frame? It's this. You gotta hit this part. Where? Am I hitting that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think my screwdriver. I'm using that for my camera prop. Sorry. I, I, I passed screw to this, but it is. It's fine. Okay, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, guys. We gotta change the angle real quick. Yeah, I need this since I'm not really called a camera prop is a screw gun, so I need that. I use rocks, sticks, and tools and everything to pop up that camera. How do I do this again? Is that good enough or no? Oh, now it's out. It's out. Oh, oh my gosh. Did I sign up for this? You did. When? You said, yeah, when you said I do. And now we need to get these mammoths into that thing right there. And it's another terminology for, for you got, we got to what? Shove 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. That's what we're doing. We're foobar. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna take this out. We might. We'll see. As a side note, Sienna brought us some cookies. Like amazing, seriously, yes. Yes, we have already been eating them, okay? But what can I say? They're double chocolate, red velvet, and brown butter and sea salt chocolate chip cookies. Like this, okay? It's amazing. Don't tell Josh that I'm snacking while he's working. Must Mitch, thanks to Deanna. Did somebody say snack? Josh showed up. We have a lot of stuff to move. A lot. Good thing gas gets there. Thank goodness. Yes. Five P's. Power plan and prevents poor performance. Yeah, and Aaron's tired because you've been working her like a dog. Yes, I have. Big country is on vacation. Yes, you are. Regular Aaron's here. Ah. Eating cookies. <laughs> okay. Long story short, we did get everything inside. 
yes, it was tough. A lot of boxes. Um, they're actually a little too big to come into the building, but we made them fit. We tore our door out. <laughs> um, we got everything pulled in. We wrestled them all in. Tore them all down. So much trash and debris. But The uh, pallet jack was key. 100%. Yeah, yeah, if we didn't have a pallet jack, we'd be screwed. But we had a pallet jack, so we're fine. Um, yeah, all I gotta do now is... Uh, the door back together. Yeah, breaking it all down, put it back together, and uh, we're finished. Not quite. <laughs> So aside from all the craziness that has been going on at the cafe, we have also had a constant flow of guests at the chapter house. It has been absolutely amazing and completely surpassed our expectations of just how quickly the house would get booked up as soon as we opened it up to guests. So it's been super exciting. And we're coming in tonight because we just had some guests leave. So Josh is gonna be out checking on the hot tub. I'm gonna be watering some plants and restocking the s'mores kit. We do have a cleaning crew that comes in and turns over the house for us but we still like to kind of have boots on the ground so to speak in between every single set of guests just so that we can make sure that things are perfect hot tub's good did a quick test we're good to go one of the best pieces of feedback that we've been getting from the guests is just how well stocked the house is which makes me super happy because as you guys know we put a lot of time and effort into the little details to just make everybody stay as comfortable and enjoyable as possible. So to know that it's being noticed and appreciated is awesome because we want everybody to have just the best time at this house. Yes, we, do. we have a s'mores kit that all of the guests get. It's got some long matches for the fire pit, a lighter, some fire starters because it just makes it so much simpler and then everything you need to have some delicious s'mores around the campfire. We've also got a whole array of spices, flour, sugar, lots of little things just so you don't have to go out and buy stuff like baking powder, baking soda, sugar, vegetable oil, salt, pepper, of course, tons of coffee. <laughs> a crock pot and all the different things that you could need for like cooking mm -hmm. or baking. Not that people wanna go on vacation and cook and bake, but no. maybe they do. We are kind of far from the store, so. <laughs> All the bathrooms have little individual makeup removers and also little washcloths just to try and keep the makeup off of the actual bath towels themselves. And all of the showers also already have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in case anybody forgets. A blow dryer, cotton balls, tissues, bath robes in the upstairs bedroom for guests, super soft. We've also got like a vacuum, a broom and dustpan, iron ironing board and bug spray in case you need it. Sometimes a year you might need it. Oh, and also fire extinguishers, first aid kits, all of that kind of good stuff. So far people have been enjoying the stay here. We've been enjoying hosting. We actually had some folks from uh, West Virginia Tourism stay here, which was uh, a little nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but they love the place, so. So it far out. it's gone really well. Yes. A lot of late nights getting to this point but now we're here and the late nights are switching over to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause we're done here. <laughs> Almost at the cafe. <laughs> you get some gas pipe for the merchandise hangers. I need to get some PVC trim for inside the kitchen. I need some more paint. Too much paint <laughs> for the uh, shelves and all the uh, bar area. Finish Sanders. Liz mm -hmm. is basically our second home. Our third home would be the chapter house. Our fourth home would be the cafe. And the fifth house would be the barn. Is a house or a barn? A barn. We do spend a lot of time there though, huh? <laughs> I've got some stalls for you to clean up, as a matter of fact. Before you know it, lambs are gonna be here again. Oh yay! The plan is tomorrow morning we work at the cafe, Tomorrow night, we're back at the house installing the next steel beam. <laughs>